Hello. We're going to talk about how we create our reality using our subconscious mind. So how does the subconscious mind work? Well, it's considered as a supercomputer. Our mind, that is. So we have a deep subconscious mind and a conscious mind. The subconscious mind makes up 95% of our brain. The conscious mind is 5% of our brain. So where does all this come from that goes into our subconscious mind? It comes from the five senses. See, touch, smell, hear, taste. So where do our feelings come from? They come from influences, situations in our lives. And where do they go? They go into our thoughts. So all the situations, painful, happiness, joy, fear, they all go into our subconscious mind from all five of our senses. So when we see danger, it goes into our subconscious mind. We taste something we don't like, it goes into our subconscious mind. And this all starts from when we were born and beyond. So as we're growing up, all the influences in our lives, good, bad, ugly, come from influences, situations in our lives. And where does it all go after it goes into our subconscious mind? Well, it all goes to the universe and gets stored there in a nice little box that's as wide as the universe is. The universe has a storage and it's shipped through our subconscious mind. And then it's shipped back into our influences and situations in our lives that we want to feel. So when we see something again, it's a cycle that goes all the way back around to our influences and situations. This is why everything gets repeated over and over situations in our lives. Happiness, joy, sadness, pain, fear. It all comes from the universe that we've created through our subconscious mind. from situations and influences in our lives. Just like I said, the words we say and the words people say to us, we get influences by what people say to us. So how do we change that? Well, there is one way of changing people that are influencing you. Don't hang around with those people. Of course, you're not going to Avoid them because that's impossible. But you can change your thought of the people that you are around that influence you in a negative way. It's just like money when you attract money. So put the thought in your mind about money. If you want happiness, put the thought of happiness in your mind. So if you want to be with an unhappy person, you're going to be unhappy. If you want to be with a happy person, happy people are attracted to you. So this is a thought. And I'm going to continue this because this is only a small part of the subconscious mind. Because the subconscious mind is such a powerful vessel to our happiness. And I'm going to explain a lot more in an upcoming video. So stay tuned. Create your happiness today because we all deserve it. So everybody have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.